Plenty to talk about in the world of AFL. We'll leave all the drama aside and talk about the finals with Mark McVeigh for a little bit. Last week you had your thoughts on the top four. I don't think anyone's going to disagree that they're a lock and load. The uh, four teams, of course, Sydney, Fremantle, Hawthorne and Geelong. But what about the bottom four and any of those teams, would they scare you if you were a coach of one of the top four teams? Well, Port Adelaide's the one that everyone speaks about and we know their form has been outstanding early on the season, but they have hit the wall, we know. Well, they've got to win their next two. They do. Gold Coast and Carlton, they've got the Dockers uh, in the last one, you could probably allow them that. If they win their next two, they're there. If they don't win a couple of these, they don't deserve to be there. Absolutely, and if they do hit form and they do get their players back from uh, sickness and, and injury, they can really shake the top four. So they're one side you think if they hit their straps, uh, you'd be a little bit concerned about. But you're right, the top four, they'd be just fighting amongst each other. North Melbourne are a team that uh, show me an 80-point win against a, a busted GWS, mm. and then the game before, they, they lose the one they should win. You know, I hate to say it, on form they could beat any team in the competition. They've beaten Sydney in Sydney at the start of the year, but... Do you have faith in their their ability to rise to the levels that they need to get to? Oh, look, I think they coach really, really well, but I don't think they have the list at the moment to compete with the big boys, and that's just uh, my thoughts. And people may argue they have won some big games against the better side this yeah. year and, and lost against the ones they should have won, but I think on the big stage, I don't think they've got the list at the moment to be able to compete with your Hawthorns and your Sydney Swans. Your mob? Thomas? They, they're going okay. They were disappointing on the weekend. Yeah. But uh, they do have some key players. They've got a great spine. Dustin Fletcher's been ruled out for the year, which is a huge loss. Um, that seems to me that they may think that Dustin will go on because uh, they wouldn't put him in the paddock yeah, and give him, give him a, a, not spell. a game. Exactly. So I think uh, Essendon uh, are going to be there, but I don't think they're going to threaten. Adelaide, West Coast Eagles, Collingwood, anyone there? That's... Collingwood, I think, pops in. Uh, right. Adelaide's the vulnerable one for me in the bottom four. I think they will come out. Collingwood have got a good run. They've got uh, the Brisbane Lions and they've got the GWS. So you think they win those games, they finish off with Hawthorne. So a tough game to finish. Dane Swan comes back in the side who's 30 touches and a couple of goals there for you. So I think Collingwood are a smoky, just, just scratching. The rugby league, sometimes you can see some, uh, some outsiders that uh, can cause an upset. Mm. I just can't see it in the AFL, can you? The top four really just no, look I up leaps ahead. Totally agree. I mean, things happen in big games, we understand that, but those four sides have so showed strong form all year. And, uh, gee, it'll be a great final series, though. When those sides come together, yeah. it'll be fantastic. Absolutely. OK, thoughts of uh, Mark McVeigh leading into the finals like most of us. Top four are locked and loaded. Hard to see any of the other teams uh, creating any sort of an upset during September.